I would love to meet your grandma. <laughs> I'd love to meet Grandma Cheryl. No, baby. You don't want to meet Grandma Cheryl. You know what? I'll get Grandma. Baby, Aunt May gonna ask you not to go get Grandma. Don't disturb Grandma. I think it's the perfect time for it. I'm gonna ask that you let Grandma rest because every time Grandma come out, something different starts to happen. We don't have to impress nobody with Grandma. Walter, you always need to do something now. You sitting down there like you don't hear the shit. Lonnie, you don't want her to get Grandma. Uh, <clears throat> Kristen. Oh, let's go in the kitchen. How about that? I'm good. <laughs> Sonia. Auntie May, let's go make some kimchi balls. Hey, Lonnie. Can't help you. Baby, did I say something wrong? You said a lot of things wrong. You want to meet Grandma? <laughs> well, here she is. <laughs> Somebody say something! Lonnie, what the hell is going on? Shut up! I'm his wife, you dumb Who you calling a dumb You, you dumb young silly dead She got the gun Lonnie, if you're gonna bring in here, bring a smart Give me that rifle and give it to me right now! Stay out of this, Christian! Christian, get her! Christian, stop her! Sorry, sir. Please, Cheryl. No, 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 no. Cheryl, drop the gun. Cheryl, you're not going to shoot me. You're not going to shoot me outside in front of all these people. You're just not going to shoot me. Please. Enough. Walter. Okay, okay, that's Enough. Shoot me. Please, enough. She's the best shot in the family, Lonnie. If she wanted to shoot your ass, she would have. Come on. I'm taking the gun now. Give it to him, baby. Let me have it. You know, reindeer are actually a sustainable food source in the Northern Territories and Alaska, Canada. This time of year, we refer to reindeer as a transportation system for Santa Claus. Most people. We know you still believe in the big fat creeper. I don't know what you're talking about. You sure about that? <laughs> Stop. Dear Santa. I know I haven't been great this year, and I'm sorry for that. But I was really hoping you could help out me and my family this Christmas. We need you. Oh, Max, you've had that so sweet. Give it back. Stop, Max. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, here we go, Maxie's wish list. Stevie, stop. That's enough. Wait, you're up first, Beth. I wish me and Beth could hang out like we used to. You might have noticed that I don't have tons of friends. Oh, no, really, Max? I wish my mom and dad could fall in love again. I know they get upset a lot with dad away from home so much. I think they really just miss each other. <laughs> also, I wish things weren't so hard for Uncle Howard and Aunt Linda. So maybe you can lend them a hand the rest of the year too. And you dad does not wish we were boys who wants creme brulee hey max off of him. Kid deserves a prize just for telling the truth. Douglas. Oh, Mike Douglas. You know, Mike Douglas used to make me moist when I watched the show. I would get, I admit it, I would get moist when I watched the show. Only white man ever did that to me was Mike Douglas. I would like to volunteer to take this old bird out of her misery. Jesus! Don't you dare say something like that about mom. Oh, no, oh, you ain't got to protect me from Cleese. Come on, Cleese. Come on. Come on over here. Come on in there, let's show up. Come on over. Then, then uh, you're gonna limp back. 
You walk over, but you're limping back. Now don't don't let the gray hair fool you. I ain't no easy way. You know what your problem is? It don't work out. Got exercise. Look at me. That's all muscle. Oh, you fat. I'm muscle. Oh, look out. at my little bill. Oh, he's a little Hercules. Show me muscle again. Oh, Hercules, 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 Hercules. Once you Hercules, work out, Hercules. your metabolism starts to speed up. You can eat anything you want. Go on. Knock yourself out. He's so strong. Well, Ernie, recent studies have shown that certain people are genetically predisposed to gaining weight. Someday in the near future, we might even find a cure. Only thing you need to study is your ass. I got a big ass. Your mama got a big ass. You do have a big ass. Don't tell me that ass is big in our family. So you need to get used to that. And I don't care what diet you go on, you can sew up your stomach and your you gonna always be fat. Daddy, all I'm trying to say is that scientific breakthroughs are occurring all the time. And the only thing about to break through is your ass about to break through the seat of your pants. <laughs> you know, Sherman, I think I do remember hearing something on TV about colon cleansing. They say everyone should have one. I'm thinking about getting me an appointment and go down and get my colon cleansed thoroughly. You want your colon clean? Fine, I'm gonna clean mine. Yeah, now nah, my cone is clean. I'm talking squeaky clean. What happened, Neil? You gotta start breaking gas. Don't break gas and destroy our meal. Don't tell me to stop. You don't want to brought up cone and cleanser and all that mess. I did not say anything about breaking gas. I said that I was gonna get my cone clean. No, you can talk about putting the tube in somebody's ass. I can't break wind. I didn't say nothing about putting no holes up nobody's ass. I said. But what do you think of colonic is? You think you run by the car wash? He choking the baby. As long as I'm back there, I'll do what I want to do at this table. Case in point. Who that call my name? Yeah, I called you if your name is. <laughs> Keep in front of me. I talk this between the crack of your. Yeah, you know I can go all night. Keep it fought. Fought. I hope you fought to your folks. <laughs> oh, my baby, too. Oh, now, see what you made me do? God damn it, I messed up my thing. Damn, Daddy. You gotta clean him yourself. How are we going to give them? I think they may be expecting something slightly more formal. An onion? Just on its own? No, no, don't be ridiculous. That's for Thanksgiving. Allison would kill me. No, no. It must be something else. Have you ever cooked one of these before? Oh, yes. But I mean, what would it take like five hours, right? Not necessarily. What? What do you think? Twenty minutes? I had I don't know. Okay. You sure this is gonna work? Okay, you're the chef. Just put on some vegetables and come and say hello. Maestro, my taste buds are positively tingling with anticipation. <laughs> oh, no thanks. I think we'll pass on the appetizer. So, Bean, big day Tuesday. Your big day, my big day. I have a question for you. He's very uh, attentive to detail. Everything must be just so. I love the new paint on the porch, Pops. Evan, we were talking to you. And um, the hedges. You've been meaning to clean those up for a while now. It's nice. I guess you finally got around to it now, huh? Yeah. I guess I did. You know, they have these new fiberglass gutters, right? Where the water, Lonnie, the water turns. Shut your ass up, please. And Evan, baby, what you talking about? What am I talking about? Tell him, Dad. Tell everybody what it is I'm talking about. Wait a minute. What the hell is going on? Dad, you're selling the house? No, you're joking, right? You did this without saying anything to us? Sure, give that to me. That's, that's not what that is. Let me see this. Let me see. Oh, come on now, Walter. You know you should have said something to somebody. Pop, 
Mom would have spoken to everyone in this house before she made that kind of decision. Mom wouldn't time. even think about selling the house. This what is the family home. Lauren, this is where mom would tell y'all something. And I understand why y'all would be confused. It's really sudden. It's not even about why would you even have said that? It's my house. It's my house. I'm supposed to ask you permission to sell my house. Evan, 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 come back. 